here to Fox and Friends. That, my friends, is a glass of wine. Can you smell that already? Yes, I can. That is glassed wine. That's wine that comes right out of a glass. Our good friend Gary Vaynerchuk is here from Wine Library TV. Uh, as always, great to see you, Gary. Good to hey, see Gary. Good to see you. Okay, so the big question now, new trend in wine is putting wine inside of cardboard boxes. Yes. Not, and not the old stuff like the Franzia that most of our production is. Not, not the Franzia play. No, not the Franzia. But now, plastic bottles. Plastic. Plastic bottles. Plastic. So will this taste affect the wine? We thought we'd break this down a little bit here. Well, it seems to me it would have a plastic taste. It may. I mean, you know, there's a lot of people who love beer out of a glass bottle more than the plastic. We hear that all the time, or the tin can. We're about to find out. I've have never, you ever? You've never done it? Never. I okay, have, let's do this. I have not done the plastic bottle. No, no, bottle, don't go for it first. Oh, you sure? Do it. Yes, we're going to go over here. Should we just do it now? You just want to get right into it, huh? I do. Well, I'm, you want to well, well, do you start with glass. I want to see yes. what, he, what the, the flavor and the taste of glass, and Gary's going to walk right. us through I mean, and get down is, to that at the end. This is a classic. I mean, we also picked some value stuff. You know, it's barbecue season. This is an Australian wine. For a lot of people that want uh, an alternative to, let's say, a yellowtail, this is the Rue Estate. Uh, it's a, a Merlot. You know, Hollywood killed Merlot sales, so I'm trying to bring Merlot back a <laughs> little bit. What, that movie? Thanks yes. That. Sideways? Yes. Yeah, okay. Sideways. So, sniffy sniff it up. So you, get, you get a little charcoal on the nose here. You get a little black Earthy. currant. Uh, currant is a berry. Yes, it is a berry. I smell yeah, blackberry. I smell a little blackberry in I here. I smell a bouncy sense of humor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so now as as a glass bottle of wine, what sort of flavor are you, are you getting? More flavor with a glass bottle of no, wine? No, I'm getting the flavor that I'm so used to because 99.9% .9 of the wine I have is out of a glass bottle. How about out of a box? Now that seems a little cheesy. I, right. You know what? This but how is, does it taste? I'm very passionate about box wine. Don't get hit by really? it. Really? All right. Box wine is actually probably the best closure for wine in the world. What does that mean? Meaning this. You know, you open a bottle of wine, you got to put the cork back in, you got to pump one or two days max, and it dies. This is the right packaging for wine, but because we're a bunch of snobs in America, mm -hmm. we can't get over ourselves, and we think that bad wine is in box wine. Now, I had an organic wine in a box. It was like this thin that I got for Christmas. Tetra Pak. It was a Tetra Malbec. Pack. Tetra Pak. Yeah, okay, Tetra Pak. Uh -huh. It was a Malbec from Argentina. It was organic in box, and it was fantastic. Australia and the UK market are consuming enormous amounts of wine in box wine. This is a Le Bordeaux. This is an Bordeaux. 87 point wine from Robert Parker, the top wine critic in the world, and it comes out of a box, and when you snippy snip it up... Okay, I'll give it a try then out of a box. But plastic is, is what we're talking about. And, and you've got people, my, my buddy like David that. Cole loves box wine. So there's people out there who love it. Okay, but the and breaking uh, wine news today is, is can it taste okay out of a plastic bottle? Now, this is the real treat, because when, if, you, treat. if you watch Gary's show, winelibrary.tv, he's always drinking it out of a, a cardboard or glass. Right. Now, for the very first time ever, first time ever. Gary is going to try Fox plastic exclusive. Wine. This is a Fox exclusive. <laughs> now, let's let Gary, I love, right. I, I love watching you do let's this. Let's do it. All right, ready? I need some room. Yeah, watch, just step out Sorry. of the way. Well, he is a professional. Me. All right, good. Is he going to blow? Let's give it a snippy you know, We don't know. That's the problem with Gary. You never know. He might explode. Now, the first thing that I'm really worried about here is it's aromatically challenged. This wine is an AC. There's not a lot going on in the nose, so I'm very worried about that. But let me give it one more snippy snip. Maybe a subtle, like an itsy-bitsy cherry component going on. Let's give it a whirl. Here we go, America. What's he doing? You know, there's almost like a cherry blow pop component on the mouth of this wine, and it gets a little sour on the back end. It kind of flips like a little, like a Casper the Friendly Ghost component because I it's love it. hollow in the mid palate. So a little fruit, then it disappears, Casper. Casper. Then it gives a little finish, sour cherry. I would probably pay five to eight dollars for this. Eight bones, not bad. So not bad. Didn't change my life. But solid wine. Wow, there you go. Gary Vaynerchuk, everyone. Cherry bomb pop, or what was it? Blow pop. A blow pop. You know, then there's gum. I'm going to you know? bring that up as a sommelier. Hey, you can pre-order Gary's book right now. It's called Crush It. Go to Amazon.com. Check it out. Gary Vaynerchuk, always great to see you. Good to see you guys. Thanks Thank so you so much for having me. Go Jets. Go Jets. Yes, Sanchez look good. Here's Allison, another good thing. Sanchez look good. Allison, take we it away. We love Gary. Thanks so much, guys. All right, I have some... Uh,